And so my role was to work with the industry, with the, my own marketing people who were assigned to me, and with the development people who were working on the development of solutions. IBM had uh, uh, worked to develop and actually did develop a electronic cash, cash register a few years before, but it didn't succeed. Uh, they never took it to market. They decided it wasn't going to be competitive uh, and uh, dropped it. But uh, a few years later, I think maybe three years later, uh, they began to think about, with the new technologies that had come along, about the possibility of uh, building a more sophisticated uh, system that they called the retail store systems, much more than a cash register. And this work was already underway when I was uh, assigned this responsibility to work with the development organization who was working on the development, in the early stages, working on the development of this uh, retail store system uh, activity uh, and uh, we uh, my job was to work with the industry the customers and with the industry groups the UPC uh, uh, committee and the symbol committee ultimately and the development people to make sure that we were doing the job we need to do for the customers and that we were working with the industry and helping them and because they, they were going to be the platform upon which we would build the systems, and then uh, getting feedback from the customers, and, and my team was doing a lot of work to quantify the, the benefits of having such systems in the store, doing the financial analysis work and getting customer feedback on that, and ultimately to make the decision as to whether we could, could continue to invest in this business and have a successful business that would provide a return to IBM and to our customers who use the systems. So that was my role, and I worked uh, uh, to get to know the people in the industry. It wasn't something that I'd been involved in before, and uh, get educated on the, on the development work that was underway. And, and one day, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ed Eigler, who was a very senior uh, industry uh, we call them industry reps who worked with the uh, uh, with the retailing industry and other allied in industries uh, as the one of the IBM experts in the field, and he was ve very well known and very very well respected by the customers and by me. And one day he dropped by my office and he said, "Marvin, he said I think you need to get involved with this uh, Universal Product uh, Code Committee." and uh, make sure that we're supporting them uh, right and that we, we provide uh, all the help we can to them. And uh, uh, he was right, and uh, I, got, uh, to I went to meet these people and uh, understand what they were trying to do, and, and then I became sort of the coordinating point between uh, all of the various IBM organizations who were trying to support them and the committee itself. And, uh, uh, it was a very interesting and challenging job over a period of time, as was working with the customers to try to determine whether there was a, uh, a technical plan that would work and a business plan. 